this presentation is called Congruent, Similar, Equivalent. Let's begin. In order to do this presentation, we need some graph paper, colored pencils, a pencil, congruent, similar, equivalent tags, and our metal insets. Now, this is a square metal inset. As you can see, the rest are also squares. But this top row right here, I like to call the square of squares row because every single shape inside is like a square. Though not every single shape in there is a square. Some of them are rectangles, but for our sake, we call it the square of squares, this top row. This bottom row, I like to call the square of triangles because everything in here is a triangle. Let's begin. So today we're going to see something new that you may have seen in primary. I'm going to take out this rectangle and this rectangle. These rectangles we say are congruent. This is the symbol for congruent. They are the same shape and the same size. I know they're the same shape and the same size because if I put them together like this, I can put, rub my finger around the outside edge and I don't touch any other shape. Shapes that are the same size and same shape are called congruent shapes. Can you find two congruent shapes in your material? Next, we can say that, let's do triangles. I'm gonna grab this triangle, the one half, and I'm going to grab this triangle, one fourth. Ooh, try not to do that. <laughs> do not. We try not to clink. No clinks with our work. Now, these two shapes are definitely the same. These two figures are definitely the same shape, but they're not the same size. Figures that are the same shape, but not the same size, are called similar figures. These two figures are similar. They are the same shape, but different size. I know the figures are the same shape when I put them together like this and I can move into each corner like that. Similar. Can you find some similar shapes? Lastly, we have shapes that are figures, I apologize, different shapes, but they are the same size, meaning they take up the same amount of space. Let's prove that with this square. I'm going to take out this other triangle, this other rectangle, 
and I'm going to put this square in both. See, they're the same. And now I'm going to put this triangle and this triangle and this rectangle and this rectangle. They are the same size and shape. We can say that all the figures in this square and this square are congruent. Now, I'm going to take this out and this out. This triangle is one half the amount of space of this square. And this rectangle is one half the size of this square. And because this rectangle and this triangle take up one half of the same sized square, we can say these figures are equivalent. Figures that are the same size, taking up the same amount of space, and the, and but different shapes are called equivalent. This is the symbol for equivalent. Can you find shapes that are equivalent? Now, your follow-up work, something you might want to do, is go through all your shapes and find shapes that are equivalent, similar, and congruent. One fun thing you could do is take those shapes and let's see, I'm going to do two congruent shapes and I'm going to draw them, I'm going to trace them on my graph paper in my, my, uh, my math notebook. So that one and let's see this one we can say are congruent make sure you put that symbol in between to make it more fun you could use art any art presentation you've had and color these in. So maybe you've had value and you'd like to make this really dark and then make it go really, really light to create a sense of value. That is an option for your follow-up. And that's your presentation for today.